Transit Mars in Scorpio Square Natal Neptune in Aquarius. Your dreams fail to materialize and tend to slip away, making you feel self-deluded, hurt and sensitive. Emotions can be turbulent and confusing with suppressed anger, subversive activity, and strange impulsive desires. Hold to your commitments and discipline your imaginative energy towards realistic goals. Exercise care with drugs, alcohol, poisonous substances, and psychic advice as you can be overly sensitive at this time. Analyze your situation with reason and seek second opinions. Your trust can be shaken through sudden changes of attitude from others which can affect you. You can be exposed to undercurrents of manipulation connected to your shared interests and objectives through people you trust which can have a powerful effect on you. You can feel rebellious and betrayed and your trust can be broken. You may come to a conclusion that they have other interests which don't include you, so you can feel let down. When this happens, friends and associates who no longer serve a valid role in your life will fall away which can bring about new beginnings. When trust is broken, associations can change your end and you will assess the true value of friendship and trust. You have to change your psychology to move away from the past and progress. The transit of Mars square your natal Neptune is difficult for most people. Many doubts arise. You feel discouraged and inadequate. You may have to face consequences of past actions. If so, you should not feel useless for having made mistakes. Now is the time to retreat and reflect so you can value things from a more spiritual and less selfish point of view. You may feel driven to act dishonestly or secretly, which you must avoid at all costs, because otherwise there will be problems and issues you will have to deal with without knowing very well how or with whom. Physically, you are not at your best. You overestimate your stamina, but you also do not feel well when resting or relaxing. The best thing you can do is face your fears and conserve your energies. Love and private life. Are you anxious but unsure of how to proceed? That's completely normal. Try to do as little as possible, even if someone has hurt you or expects you to make a decision. Your predicament is complex and murky, and you could end up becoming more entangled. Try to understand how the present situation could come about, what you contributed and why. Be patient and allow things to develop at their own pace. Do something for your own well-being instead. You could watch something inspirational or read a good book. You could also immerse yourself in the quite different, possibly even more beautiful, world your own imagination, without necessarily having to take on an active role yourself. Let others be active for you and make sure you gather enough material in the form of films, books and magazines. If you like to meditate this would also be a good option. What do you believe in? What gives you strength? Your partner might find it difficult to relate to your spiritual side. If that is the case you'll just have to accept the situation because it's not within your powers to change it. Might you also enjoy lying in the bath listening to beautiful music? Make sure that you look after your own needs, irrespective of other people's expectations. The situation will soon become clearer, and you will still have enough time to act. If you resonate with this reading, don't forget to subscribe.